Hey guys, this is my, I know I said, I'll get this video out tomorrow, and then I didn't. Um, been really busy. Finals are kicking my ass. Um, but, we're in day. I'm gonna cover a whole bunch of energy auto rifle options. Um, some of them, to be clear, are not currently acquirable, or you gotta kind of pray to RNG to like Zerb rings them or something. Um, but, I think... They're worth keeping an eye out for if they are ever made reacquirable. Um, specifically, in this case, the Summoner and Shadow Price are not currently acquirable. Um, but if they ever come back, like their their stats are just really good, so they're worth keeping an eye out for. We'll start with Sweet Sorrow. I think this one will probably. I think they're they're gonna try and make all these weapons reacquirable. You see the bow. And the nade launcher, or not the nade launcher, uh, the bow, and one of the other weapons from, oh, Season of the Risen, excuse me. Um, you see those at Banshee all the time. Uh, I don't think I've seen this one yet, but if they ever, like, properly update that so that you can reacquire these and make them red borders, you can craft it. Uh, this is one to keep an eye out for. Uh, this gun feels very, very good. Rather fire auto rifle arc. Solid perk pool. Um, for PvP, at least, you're looking at um, Pulse Monitor or Killing Wind or Stats for All. And then probably tap the trigger for the stability or you can go Focus Fury if you think you can hit your crits. Um, PvE, you can go like Stats for All or Stats for All, One for All is probably your best option. You can also go like Triple Tap and Focus Fury. There's a lot of synergy there. Um, overall, it's just a, a very solid gun. Even It feels very good to shoot. The perk pool is admittedly not the best, but the the gun itself feels so good that it that makes up for it in a lot of ways. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry. One hell of a yawn. Um, Shadow Price. Not currently acquirable, but it hasn't been in rotation in a long time at this point. Um, I don't recall if you've gotten it before, if you can focus it. Um, you can focus just about everything else, so like I'm, I'm assuming you probably can, but I'm not 100% certain about that. Um, but again, this, this gun... Um, has one very good damage perk and then a couple of decent perks. Um, Swashbuckler on this thing is insane. Uh, it feels really good. Um, in the third column, you got Surplus, you got Killing Wind, Fourth Times. Uh, interesting. Uh, so fourth, Surplus, Killing Wind, Fourth Times, Feeding Frenzy, Overflow. I, this obviously won't exist anymore. But if you... I think this is more... Because chances are, if they bring this back, they're going to refresh the perk pool. But I'm, what I'm suggesting is that if you like threw these in your vault and forgot about it, go out and take them back out. See if you've got something decent. Um, because 450s as a whole are really, really good now. Um, honestly, all auto rifles are really good. But 450s have always been... A really solid choice because they're so accurate if you can hit all your shots like they just murder people um like the, the time to kill on this it's like yeah it's like seven bullets tier five and under is like a point if you hit all crits someone has five resilience or less which does happen still sometimes it's a six six crit kill and they just die um seven bullet kill in 0.8 seconds is honestly pretty respectable these things have Pretty decent range. Yeah, 33 meters. Very accurate. Seven bullet kill. They're surprisingly strong. This in particular stands out because of swashbuckler. So if you get a melee kill, you have several seconds where you can kill someone in half a second. And you don't even have to hit all crits. You can go four crit one body on uh, tier eight and under. So uh, just keep an eye off. Look, go dig through your vault. See if you've got a decent one, preferably with swashbuckler and then like killing wind or surplus, I think. Um, it's decent in PvE too, but I think PvP is definitely where it shines. 
Um, so this one can you can still get. This is craftable. It's on the throne world. This gun is actually really good, but it's it's slept on because people just don't like 360s anymore. I don't know if people ever have really liked 360. I think the last one people actually genuinely liked was Half Dan. Um, Lodbrock, I think a lot of people do kind of like Lodbrock. Um, I actually may cover that at the end of the video just because. Um, but this gun is honestly really solid. Um, for PvP, you just go max stability. That's that's what mine is. Um, has all the stability in the world. Perpetual Notion, Golden Tricorn. This is active. You have like 80 stability and just rock solid, easy to land your shots. Tricorn is a 50% damage bonus, 15% damage bonus for seven seconds on weapon kill. So you have seven seconds after where, so your time to kill is 0.8 seconds. So not fantastic. It's five crits, one headshot, but you, it, they have a lot of range, right? Not as much as a precision though, but I think that's because I, I my range stat isn't very high. Uh, one stag of golden tricorn, 0.67 kill, five crits. It's, and they're, they're very, they have a lot of like just innate flinch. So they're, they're honestly pretty, they're not that easy to duel. They're, they're pretty difficult to duel um, one on one if you um, have, have the range advantage on somebody. Um, you just have to be careful about that because again, SMGs right now are just so strong. That a lot of times they're they're poking in they're they're getting close enough to this range that if you aren't like very precise with your your distance, um, you you will still lose. Um, yeah, this is this is again craftable for PVE. Just go stats for all one for all, and then like whatever whatever you want. Honestly, I guess like flared mag and stability just for comfort. <sighs> All right, Summoner. This gun is currently not available. I have no idea what the purple is going to look like. When and if they bring it back. Um, but you should still look out for it because it's really good. You've got, I mean, you got, I just, good, uh, you've got all your usual suspects for your barrel, but it's got such a good re recoil direction, you can just kind of use whatever. Ricochet rounds, again. Solid, amazing perk. High cal if you if you want to go that route and lose the stability. Um, the third column, you've got PvE and PvP perks. I think for PvP, you're looking at probably range finder, dynamic sway, or moving target. Heating up isn't bad. It's what I have, but it, it could be better. Um, the right column, if you're going for like dueling and you just want the utility, you could go Elemental Capacitor, but like you've got so many good perks here. Um, tricorn especially, like Solar Golden Tricorn. Solar Golden Tricorn is probably the easiest one to, to proc. There's just so many ways to get solar kills, um, especially if you're a hunter player with your throwing knives. Um, or even Warlock, you can like prep a sticky nade. Um, so definitely, I think those are those are probably the two to keep an eye out for. But multi kill clip isn't bad. Focus fury isn't bad. Uh, I think those are more PVE perks. Um, but for, yeah, for PVP, look for rampage or tricorn. Um, when is the time to kill on this? Okay, so range because this thing has has decent zoom, I believe. No, it's sixteen. Okay, I think it used to be higher, but it's it's sixteen. Um, yeah, twenty eight meters. Uh, nine bullet kill. Uh, if you get one kill in Prague Rampage, um, it's down to an 8-bullet kill. And then 8-bullet kill, but more lenient. And then 7-bullet kill. Um, you probably won't get this high very often, but like still, I, you're cutting down from a 9 to an 8-bullet kill with one stack of Rampage. So, I mean, at, at 0.7 seconds. So, like, really, it's pretty reasonable. And it it's in 600 RPM, so like it's really not hard to get out eight shots. So even if you like miss a body and have to hit another shot, it's it's not the end of the world. So again, I think this is another one. Dig through your vault, and then keep an eye out for it when it comes back. Because chance like again, it's a, it's a trials weapon. It's gonna have an overloaded perk pool, so just keep an eye out for it. Reckless Oracle comes from Garden of Salvation. It's a rapid fire frame. It is void. Um, I think 
this gun is really fun. It is a total bullet hose, um, but it's got a very good perk pool. Uh, well, it has a very good perk pool in the third column. The second column is it's rough. Um, but that said, you here's the thing, right? Mulligan and under pressure are okay. Outlaw is very good. Auto loading is useless. In this column, three of these perks are very good, and the triple tap is useless. So it's like as long as you can avoid auto loading and triple tap, you're going to get a usable perk combination. Uh, and again, it's got armor piercing, high cal, ricochet, or all options. And then it's got okay. If you add a counterbalance stock, it has good reflow direction because it goes up to 74. So I would keep an eye out for this. It is a good gun. Rapid fires, or if you like rapid fires, I just look for this, honestly. It's so it's so much fun to just hose things down with follow rounds. And I think this is just at, well, I wouldn't say just as good as Gnawing Hunger, but like if you're looking for a void auto rifle, I think this is a really good option. It's really unique. It's very fun. Um, because again, rapid fire, bullet hose. It just it sounds like a bullet hose. Sweet sorrow kind of feels the same, right? They just they just churn out so many bullets, uh, and it's just a it's a lot of fun with all the rounds. Um, after this season, uh, you can probably just throw it back in the vault. But I would I would I consider doing GOS and looking for this, or maybe dig through your vault and see if you have one. Gnawing hunger. So I think the only way you can get this is from Zer on the weekends. I don't think Banshee has it. Unless it may it honestly may drop from his random engrams, but like counting on those random engrams to give you anything of value is like such a terrible idea that I, I wouldn't do that. Um, but again, there's a good chance you probably have like four of these in your vault with double perks, so keep an eye out for it. Um Void Auto Rifle 600. Um has a lot going for it as a very good the list column is absolutely insane. Four damage perks, all of which are good and demolitionist, is just absolutely insane. Um, this dan this column is also very good. Subsistence pairs really well with demo and swash and rampage. Tap the trigger and Zen moment um, are just good perks in general right now. Zen moment, especially after all the buffs, I mean this thing is insanely sticky. Just abs like just, you can't miss with it. Um, this column, you got like accurized rounds. Um, mine has still has the old version of drop max. It's basically like I've got outlaw up all the time. Uh, and then your barrels, you know, usual suspects arrowhead puts you at 84. Uh, if you really wanted to, you could slap a counterbalance on there and get 99, which is crazy. Um, the problem <laughs> drop mag reduces your magazine size by a lot. Which is why I don't do that. I I just live with the eighty four. It's fine by me. Um, but yeah, definitely look in your vault and see if you've got anything similar to this. Uh, maybe with a better master work. Mine is handling, which is kind of useless. Uh, so look for like range or stability, and then like accurized something like that. Um, the Amit AR two. I think this gun is slept on. Uh, I've had friends that have told me this gun is slept on. I've seen YouTubers tell me this gun is slept on. I still only see it once in a blue moon. It's probably still the only 450 auto rifle I see, but it's it's still not super common. And I think that is a travesty because this gun is absolutely insane. <laughs> you get perfect recoil direction with arrowhead break. You've got ricochet rounds. Uh, with a range masterwork, you're hitting 32 meters. Um, because it's got like 17 zoom hands. Let's compare that to Shadow Price. Okay, Shadow Price is also a 450, and I think we were just we were just looking at that here. Let's change this to Arrowhead just so that the rolls kind of match up. Uh, Effendi. All right, so range on this 31.53, range on this 31.92. It's that one zoom difference. Coming in clutch. Also, this 
does as a reload masterwork. But see, like this gun has 10 less range than this Adept Shadow Price. And it still outranges it slightly. Like that goes, like Zoom is an insane stat. Then you compare that, you've got Dynamic Sway, you've got Surplus for PvP. Um, when, when these are like active and stacked up, um, I'll, for some reason you can't show Dynamic Sway reduction stacks on here. But you're getting another st plus 10 stability and it's increasing your accuracy. Um, surplus gives you, you know, a whole bunch of stability if it's, if it's there. Uh, I would just lead towards dynamic sway just because you know you have to fire a lot of shots with these guns. So why not, why not take dynamic sway, right? In this column, you've got adrenaline junkie. This is your damage perk. Um, if you're, if you're using this for PvE, stats for all, one for all is also good. Or stats for all in canned because an in canned explosion will proc stats for all. Um, but I think for PvP, you're looking at Adrenaline Junkie. It's the only one that really makes sense, um, especially if you are a trip mining abuser. Um, but again, time to kill is the same. Let's see, what does one stack do? One stack of Adrenaline Junkie pulls you down to a six-bullet kill in 0.67 seconds, which I assume Swashbuckler does the same thing. Yes. So Because the perks are basically identical. So I again like a six bullet kill on tier ten to tier six is just so insanely good. And then I think neat thing about adrenaline junkie is it boosts your handling too. And this gun actually has pretty good handling for a four fifty. Um, but obviously more is all the more the merrier. So yeah, I would I would absolutely I think this is even tied to a quest. Like you're just guaranteed to get it. So I would go and get that. Um, got Amalon Fluid Dynamics Origin Trait. Again, that adds more stability, top of the mag. So like this gun really has absolutely no weaknesses. It's crazy good. Um, people just, I, I, they don't use it because it's a 450 auto rifle. And why would anyone ever use that, right? Um, but I think you should. So... I guess one one other thing to cover. Actually, no. I'll I'll do that. In a, I'll do the kinetic um, ones in a separate video because there are some filler kinetic weapons that I think deserve a look. Oh, here we go. Yeah, let me let me cover Dark Decider. I don't know when this is going away. This week with Iron Banner, maybe the last chance you have at it. I'm not. I really don't remember. Um, but this gun is actually, I think, a lot of fun. Uh, again, similar to. I mean, dynamic sway is kind of your best option. You really don't have much else. Offhand strike, I don't think is bad, but I would I would still just take dynamic sway. It's just consistent free stats for holding down the trigger on a bullet hose. And this is a rapid fire, so like you're going to be spitting out ten bullets for max stability, like really really fast. Um, it has volt shot. Bolt shot is a really good perk. It's honestly very good in PvP, I think. Because you'll hit somebody with it and they'll be jolted, and then like you're just excuse me, throwing so many bullets into them that it'll just proc and just annihilate them. Um on top of that, you get golden tricorn. Um one stack of this takes you down to a nine bullet kill in 0.67 seconds. And you don't even have to hit all crits on with one stack of that. It's pretty crazy. If you're looking for more of a dueling perk, you can go rangefinder. Um, so that obviously just makes makes it more accurate. You're not going to reduce your time to kill in any way, but I mean, who cares? You're probably just going to like absolutely murder them from 29 meters, which is like on a rapid fire. You're pushing like you know 450 or 600 rpm range right here uh for pve either subsistence golden tricorn or if you go volt shot don't go subsistence because they don't synergize so go offhand if you want to just like casually hip fire everything or maybe well rounded just because you're probably using some sort of ability build 
or stick with dynamic sway. Dynamic sway, I think, is is still, I think, my favorite perk on in this column, as you can tell, because this, this is the role I kept was small bore accurized dynamic sway volt shot range master work. Because you can you can just mow things mow things down. Um, so I think that's gonna be it for now. Um. Next video, I'm going to cover Briar's Contempt. I... Well, so... I'll probably cover this, and then I'm going to have to... I'm probably going to have to add notes later, because the thing is, I have to... I actually have to damage test the enhanced high-impact reserves and enhanced rewind rounds interactions, because it's supposed to refill more of the magazine and give you a bonus damage sooner in the magazine, but because the magazine is only six... I think the math is kind of broken. It's supposed to round up, but it doesn't always. So I have to like actually like check and waste golf balls on it. Um, but we'll worry about that later. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry for the inconsistent uploads. It's supposed to be daily, but it's just not. Um, but finals are next week. So <laughs> with any luck, uh, I'll actually be able to start doing this daily uh, sooner rather than later. So peace.